Hey everyone, it's Jacob again. In my last video I showed you how to make DXF files of objects using screen captured images. In this video, we will be using images taken with a camera, such as the one on your smartphone. Open Inkscape and open the picture that you took with your camera. Select the picture and go to Path Trace Bitmap. Make sure Brightness Cutoff is selected. Set the threshold to around 0.5. It may take a minute to process. If it fails or crashes, try a different value. Once we've used Brightness Cutoff to reduce the photo to a binary image, we need to fill in any empty spaces within the silhouette of the driver handle. To do this, use the rectangle tool and click and drag over the white spaces. In order to crop the image, we need another rectangle. This time, make it transparent. Drag the corner handles until the box fits around the driver handle without touching the black silhouette. Click the Select tool, hold down Shift and also click the rest of the image. Go to the box around the driver handle, right click and select Set Clip. Now we will save the cropped image and open it. Let's resize the image to the dimensions that I measured with the caliper. One hundred six point four six millimeters. Now we go to Path Trace Bitmap. This time we select Edge Detection. Delete the original silhouette, and there is the vector outline. Now you can save it as a DXF or SVG file. We can open the DXF in a CAD program.
we can verify the measured width We can modify the current DXF by adding grab slots to the driver handle. Use the line tool to draw a center line for reference. Add a box. Give it some fillets. Delete any unnecessary lines. and you have a DXF ready to cut out a foam mold for your tool. If you haven't seen the first video about making DXF files using screen captured images, a link is in the description. Thank you for watching.